So I thought I was going to stop doing the videos, but the more I think about, the more we do, the more I see patients, the more we talk in research meetings, the more there is actually to do for video. So this is our short videos, more about awareness and tools and springboards. But one is about pain, and this is about um, migraines and headaches. We know from our data and our patient logs and registry that about 60 to 70% of our patients have headaches or migraines. So we're trying to figure out what that means, that either migraines and POTS go together, that um, maybe migraine patients are more, more susceptible to POTS or POTS patients get migraines, that the nervous system just being this more activated state renders people susceptible. Makes sense, for example, if you have migraines, caffeine can create more migraines. Adrenaline is like migraines. So it all goes together in this very activated state. The nervous system works best in a more calm state. And most times to even think and talk and do activities um, and uh, execute fine movements, your nervous system is a more calm state. So in a very adrenaline state of activation, um, you will see much more neurologic disorders like migraines, POTS, fibromyalgia, nerve pain, um, seizures, for example. So it makes sense that POTS and migraines go together. Important point is that you might see that when your POTS is worse, your migraines are worse, and vice versa. Factors that can actually cause migraines, such as um, weather, food, stress, menstrual cycle, can also be tie into your POTS. So pay attention. When your migraines are worse, your POTS is worse, and vice versa. You might find a pattern of this. If you have a bad POTS day, it might tie into your migraines. Think about the time you had the POTS and the migraine, what happened in the last 24, 72 hours. So if you're in a bad day, think about the days before. There could be a pattern. That's why keeping a log or a journal, those seems another thing for you to do. You might find, whoa, this is my new health regimen. This is something I'm doing that's making me better or worse. And so very, very important thing to pay attention to to what could be making things more challenging for you and problematic. Um, important concept too is that people often take medicines for migraines and that can um, help, but always check to see if it makes your POTS worse. Some of the medicines can slow the heart rate down too much or increase fatigue. So always review with your provider, how's this medicine for migraines gonna work with your POTS? Um, and many of the migraine relief medicines um, can, are important to be used for the acute attacks because what's associated with migraines is nausea and vomiting. And what's important for POTS, hydration and using your gut to hydrate. So really important. Important another fact is high salt can be a trigger for some migraine patients. So pay attention is your salt loading making your migraines worse. Um, so another important fact. Another thing is, if you look at foods that are mast cell activation trigger foods are also very similar to migraine trigger foods. The mast cells are also located in the lining of the meninges, the lining of the brain. So interesting fact is a lot of the mast cell food triggers are also migraine food triggers, irritable bowel food triggers, bladder food triggers for cystitis. So there's something about mast cell food triggers, mast cell and migraine, irritable bowel and bladder food. So that's another neat little fact of migraines, POTS, mast cell. And lastly, um, we know that with adrenaline, the fight or flight response, your neck tightens up and cause a lot of neck tightness. So the more you can do with that work, the physical therapy, massage, muscle relaxants as needed, if you need to, or daily, um, um, ergonomics, some people get Botox, and also dealing with that coat hanger, that coat hanger neck pain, that's better when you lay down or recline, or so when you stand up because the blood's not getting vertically up. But a fun fact about POTS and neck pain. Thank you.